Now, what are the ways that we're exposed to and absorb implicit biases? Where do we get biases in the first place? In front of you, it's a box, right? This is a corn pop box, right, by Kellogg's. And if you look at the box, you will see that there's a whole bunch of different corn pops. And they're doing all kinds of things. There's one that's surfing down the stairs. There's some that you know, are in safari outfits. Um, they're doing, there's some that are dancing and looking like they're having fun. But in the middle of that box, there is one little corn pop that seems to be darker than the rest, right? He's dressed in blue. And if you look at what that corn pop is doing, the darker one, he's sweeping, right? He's the janitor. He's cleaning up after the other corn pops, right? But I bet you that if you ask this cartoonist, and this was only two years ago or so, it wasn't that long ago that an uproar came up about this corn pop box. But if you ask the cartoonist, I'm sure the cartoonist, he or she would tell you that they are the least racist person you know. That, you know, it was just fun to draw this little corn pop this way. But it's their own implicit biases that are coming forth in their work and that other people are absorbing.